this is a part of a, a central steam wagon boiler it's what's commonly called a clack valve it's called a clack valve because it makes a clacking noise when it works it's actually a non-return valve that is mounted on the bottom of the boiler shell and water is fed into there either from a pump or from an injector because you need two methods of putting water into a boiler it's going to be fail safe so the water goes into there there's a one way valve in here which allows water to pass through that port into the boiler but doesn't allow the steam to come back it's a one way valve in there this part here is an isolator valve you screw that all the way down and that blanks off in there and totally blanks the valve off from the, the system in case you have a, a fault you can black yeah you can blank it off and normally it's screwed out like that and that seals on a tape or in there and that stops it leaking out from there and that's where it normally is clack valve works you get a problem you shut that and it locks the valve off the valves are old they haven't been working seemingly i think this one was actually leaking it wasn't shutting off at all so i'm going to take it apart and see what i can find inside it it's covered in sealer of some description which is always a bit of a bit of a bad sign anyway we'll, we'll have it in a bit and see what we can find I'm going to mark this I'm going to mark this top fitting with this part here because you can build it either way you can have it left hand or right hand I want it to go back together the way it comes apart we'll clean some of this whatever that sort of sealer this is off here looks like steam seal or something similar and we'll put a mark on put a mark on there we'll put a mark on there right so that goes back together the same way around I'm trying to get this cap off So these old adjustables, I don't know how tight these will be. If it hasn't been stripped recently, these will be tight. And they're not that tight. There's two washers on top of there, I don't know why there's two washers on. Should only be one, but what I can see straight away, there should be a little compression spring in there. Between that part there, which is the valve, and that to what limits the, the lift on the valve, there should be a compression spring in there, and that isn't the one. There's a slot on top of the valve there. That turns the valve on the seat, that's so you can lock the valve in. see the valve in there that comes out and that's the face it seals on which it's covered in, covered in some sort of sealer or gunge but the valve itself is in good condition and that's the valve seat in there so we can get the valve seat to screw out beat the bits it's, uh, it should be a lot tighter than that once again it's got two washers on it for some strange reason I don't know why I've obviously been trying to, to shim the, the valve stroke up right so the valve goes in there like that water is forced in this stuff its seat the water comes around there goes into the boiler and the little spring and more so the boiler steam pressure keeps that push shut that's how it works that's where it gets the clack from clack 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 basically it's in good condition that seat's good we'll just carry on see what else we can find Now we did see that the injector, sorry, you did see that the valve wouldn't shut off. You can see in there, 
Oops, dang it, you can see there's a little plunger fastened that screw and that's meant to seal off in there so if we screw that fully down and I can blow straight through it which means that that valve isn't touching the seat I think it's hitting the handle before it gets all the way down there next thing is to take the handle off the handle's off pushed on and then it's been hammered and peened across to retain it so I'll have to fail that so the handle will slip off it's a lovely bronze casting that's the main defect up in there now is that is not shutting off been knocked on and then somebody's hammered shite out of that and swirled it up inside and you've got to be careful we don't want to damage anything but it's got to come to bits uh, it's as simple as that it's just got to come out you get a spanner on there to get that part of the valve out to see what's actually happened or what's gone wrong inside of there not wanting to play at the minute but we'll play So got a, a nice puller set up on here hopefully that will pull it off without doing any damage oh 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 there's a lot of weight on there a lot of weight at all oh. this just does not want to play The next thing is to take it up the other shed and put a little bit of heat on so I can expand that and that might help to, to spring it off. I think that's going to be the, the next plan of attack actually. Oh there's a lot of weight on there now. And it's going nowhere. Right we'll take it up, put some heat on here and see if we can get it to go that way. That's got root on injector, that's the injector clag valve and I've also got the pump clag valve to do once we get this one sorted. Right, we're going to put some heat on here and see what happens. It screamed and shrieked but it did give in. I also loosened this big nut off when I had it in the, in the big vase up there. It's still quite warm, I can't see the water. You can see the seat there on the valve there with two tapers. That looks pretty good actually. Now we need to screw that out of there so I'm going to have to take some of this damaged thread off where it's been hammered to screw that out. I'm looking in there and I can see the valve seat also looks to be in excellent condition. Very good. It could be a case of making another one of these and if I'm going to make one I'll make two to, uh, to refurbish the valves. And basically we'll put this in the lathe now and take some of the damaged threads off there so I can screw it apart and if it's going to be serviceable I can always, I always braze this up 
run some silicon bronze on and get a bit more height. Because that's what's happened, it's been scrolled all the way down to there and it hasn't been touching the seat in the bottom of there so it's just been blown straight past. They weren't able to isolate the clock valve. So they've both got no so it's got no spring in and it's not touching the seat so that's probably why it's not working. Go in there with a screw down through there. Oh, just a little tight. I don't want to damage the threads in the union or in the fitting. Take some more of it, more off here. But it's nearly, it's nearly giving in. Ah, you bastard! Yeah, fucking hell! Oh, John! Oh, Jungin! I nipped my bastard finger on there. Bloody hell! Oh. Fuck's sake, John, man, you clumsy bastard, you fucking whore. Oh, look at the bastard thing, it's gonna go in black. God, fucking hurt that. Wah, did it. Fucking hell. Scabby bastard thing. Oh, oh, that's throbbing now. It's more civilised for it than doing it that way, son. Oh. Dear me. There's tons of thread in there, so I think we will get away with just building the end of that back up. What a bastard that was! Yeah, loads of thread in there, so there's plenty to plenty to play with. We'll try the handle on now. Uh, even with that much machined off, it doesn't want to go in. So I think we're going to be putting some silicon bronze on the end here and build that up. Because I think quite simply it just hasn't been going all the way home into the into the holding and sealing off. Wow, that fucking hurt that. See the valve seat in there, which seals on that one when the valve's fully open.
to me that bust that thing. A little bit tight on the threads, but better being tight as being piss wobbly slack. Right, so I'll screw this back into the holding now. We should be able to make it work like it's supposed to. Sure that's on the it's on the seat now so that's working it was just that hand wheel was on that for that it was starting from work and I've actually bent that I've had that much heat on it let it warm it up and knock it straight and then uh, repair the yeah repair the damage I'll put a bit more on there build it up a little bit the one is not lost Probably find sandblast now, clean it all up. Uh, lap the valve seats in, find some springs. I've got the other one to strip, of course. And uh, put it back together. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Anyway, thanks for watching.